Welcome to VTerm Tips. In this video, we are going to introduce the Torque Trigger System, a flexible trigger system held by six or eight torques. We install the system inside this 13 inch tom shell. Both heads and rims get removed before unscrewing the upper lock screws. These extendable spacer bolts get applied as several lock windings require different lengths. An additional washer is needed before installing. These extension bolts are used to build the matching torch. In this case, we need three of them. Bigger shells require more, smaller shells less. Holding up the first bolt against the others is important to not destroy the lock winding. The inner lock windings are really short in this case. We need to use the counter nut to tighten them. This shell does only have 6 locks, others have 8. The trigger system can be used for both constellations. The trigger body is mounted by short M4 screws including washers. The slotted holes of the applied metal angles make the system fit into any shell. The angle screws are kind of loose to enable a sliding movement. This metal angle can be mounted from above or below depending on the required height. The six screws get tightened as soon as the system is in place. The other six angle screws get tightened to finally anchor the system. The next step is setting up the height of the trigger cone, which should be 1.5 mm higher than the shell's bearing edge. The counter nuts of three elevation screws get untightened with a socket wrench. The trigger cone height can be adjusted by turning all three screws. The indicator shows that the correct height is set. The counter nuts get tightened before checking the cone height again. We use a part of a jack plug cable, a socket terminal and a 3.5 jack cable piece to connect the trigger. The terminal is screwed to one of the lug screws. The stereo jack plug cable fits through a small air vent and gets applied to the terminal. The other piece is a headphone cable that can be plugged into the system's integrated jack plug. Both cables get screwed to the socket terminal. Two cable ties prevent the cable from slacking around. And now we are done with the system setup. There are many other cables that can be used. This is only one solution. We use a two-ply Tramtech series mesh head for the top and a single-ply resonant head for the bottom. The result is a fully converted 13-inch tom. The conversion can be reverted at any time. Nothing at the shell is getting damaged. The trigger system delivers the most accurate head and rim trigger result. The setup is simple and only some slight changes are necessary. The torque trigger can be applied in all shell sizes from 8 to 18 inch. The system is really solid, even in a 16 inch shell with only 6 instead of 8 torques. The center mounted cone enables positional sensing and the rim trigger ensures a consistent rim triggering from every spot of the rim. The system is also really flat, lightweight and does not take too much space. Now we want to apply it in a snare shell. We follow the same steps. Only the counter nuts are on the bottom side to be able to lower the head trigger. This time we are going to use an air vent cable that can directly be plugged in. We are going to apply a resonant head, a Tramtech 2-ply head and a rim silencer. We use a slightly modified setting of the PD125. The trigger does not require major adjustments. It is pretty much plug and play. Find more information about the settings in the description below. On to the test.
The trigger result is great. The pet is sensitive and not different to a high-end Roland pet. The idea, however, is not new. Drumtech and another company built similar trigger systems. More information about the Torque trigger system will be published on vdramtips.com soon. Thanks for watching! Click the left box to see a video about the Flex trigger system. Click the box in the middle if you want to know how to make an air vent cable. Or click the right box to learn more about the R-Drums plug head.